So I'm back to the English wheel and I put the second wheel in that has a little light crown and that will help me to smooth this out before I put the rubber band on and curve it more. And as you see, I must roll this upside down. I can't roll it this way because this has a little curve this way. So I want that to fit the bottom wheel in the English wheel. And I prefer to hold it, hold the panel in the biggest part, so I turn it around like this. So now it's, it's pretty smooth there. And if this was the shape you want, yes, of course, you can go ahead and bend this in the bead roller now. But I want this to be a little more round. So I change the bottom wheel again to the number three wheel. And then I'm going to put the rubber band on. The best way to put the rubber band on is to do it this way. And this is an inner tube from a truck tire. Either 8.2515 or 7.00 slash 7.50 times 16 truck tire. That works great. So now I'm rolling it and I can do it in sections. I need, don't need to roll the whole thing, but I need to roll it in a curve. That's, that's for sure. Okay, so now you see that I still have an inner curve here. That's where I need to go and stretch it a little more. This part here is okay. Here I need to roll it with the rubber band a little more. So I'm going to turn it around. And you see more clear of how the shape looks like when I bend it again with the rubber band. And I'm not bending it by my hands. It's the rubber band that bends it. Can be a little trick here in the center because it's I have weight on both sides of the wheel. So that can be a little little tough sometimes. So now I can take a look at this and you can see that this one curves up and this one curves up. The center part here is pretty okay. So I think I will go over to the stretcher again and stretch a little more to get it more, the side a little more straight before I go over to the bead roll and start bending those edges. So I'm going to continue what I did before, but maybe a little more on the edge so I don't do so much so deep in on the panel as I did before. And I can see where the panel goes a little better this time. I think I have a little, 
little more to do here, but I think I should go li just a little bit further in. If I do too much on the edge, then it's going to be really sharp there. If I go a little further in, then it's going to be more longer radius. So that's what I looked at when I do this. So you see when I went a little further in, then it's more a slight radius instead of very sharp. And I actually have a little on this one here too. So let me go in there too. I'm just looking at the panel to be more symmetrical all the way. So I think I should go to the third wheel now without the rubber band and smooth it out and then roll it. Those small dents here, I can't get those out with the rubber band on. So I need to do it with two solid wheels. So let's go over to the wheel again. So I'm back to the wheel here and with a low pressure, just roll it so I can smooth this out. And I roll this one too. It can be a little tricky to roll it in, in a curve, but practice makes you better and better. So let me put the rubber band on here again so we can roll it a little more and then I think we are done for for the the bee, for the wheel and go to over to the bead roller. Let's take a look at it. Some a little, little tweaking here and there. I think why, why it bends it more in the ends is because I, uh, we don't have any material out here. So when I roll it here with a rubber band, it tried to bend it much, much more than in here. So I think this is pretty close what I'm looking for now. So I think we go over to the bead roller now and set that and we're going to lose a little of this because of those two bends that I'm going to make. <laughs> 